Hi guys, my name is Nachi and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about commissions and how to become a commission artist. In the background you can actually see me working on a commission right now. I'm drawing Silvaria Bless from the game Valkyria Chronicles. I hope I said that right. I'm not 100% sure and I didn't know the game before I did this commission. My commissioner was so nice and let me record this. Thank you so much for that. And let's start talking about this topic. I want to give out a small disclaimer up front. Everything I'm talking about in this video is based on personal experience and the tips I'm giving are not a guarantee for success, but are more so things that I think can be helpful. Everyone is in the end of the day different and you should always do what you feel most comfortable with. Okay, that being said, let's jump into the topic because this is gonna be a long one. I remember when I started doing commissions, my initial thought was I'm okay at drawing, people want me to draw something for them and I can make a little bit of money off the side while doing something I already love. And it's probably gonna be easy. Spoiler alert, it was everything but easy. It was unbelievably stressful actually. Right off the bat I opened up for as many commissions as possible. I think I got like eight straight away. I told people I'm gonna finish all of them within a couple of days. I took way too little money for way too ambitious artworks and I only finished one <laughs> and got paid for one. Finished another one and didn't get paid for it and gave up on the last six ones because I was too stressed and I gave people their money back. I literally did everything wrong you could have done wrong. So here are my 10 tips on how to get started as a commission artist. Number one, invest time in your commission guidelines. I can't stress this one enough, but if you're starting out new with commissions, you should put in the work before you take any commissions. Write down some guidelines that would protect you as an artist when taking commissions and that also informs your customer about what they are getting into. You need to describe what you're willing to draw and also what you're not willing to draw. You love drawing manga characters but you have no experience whatsoever in drawing realistic landscapes. You need to write that down like right from the beginning. It might seem like a lot of work in the beginning but it will make working with customers much easier in the long run. People will know what they can expect from you and you will not have to go through long conversations with every single commissioner about what you feel comfortable and uncomfortable with drawing. Also, you should invest time in your price list. I'm not gonna give specific details on how much you should charge for something. I think that is very individual to every person and I think that is something you should put a lot of thought into. Just make sure that you be specific about what you will be able to draw for how much money. Take into consideration how much time working on an artwork will take you and if you have material cost or shipping cost for sending out originals. These are things that need to be made clear from the beginning so both you and your customer won't end up in an awkward disagreement. If you never mention shipping costs, and all of a sudden bring up shipping costs the moment you are about to send out a finished artwork, it's not your customer's fault for being taken back or not being willing to pay for shipment. Of course you should never pay for those things out of your own pocket, but it's your responsibility to make that clear from the beginning. Number two, have a well thought out portfolio. Next to your guidelines, you should have an online portfolio. Don't just link to your social media and say, this is what I do. Make a conscious decision of what you want your customers to see. Make sure to show off doable work and not only your best work. Your best work may have taken more time and effort than your normal work and it will not be a reliable representation of what you are able to do. Make sure to show a big variety of art that represents your skills and that you are happy and comfortable drawing. Don't show that one mecha artwork that took you like five weeks to create and caused like several breakdowns. If you're not willing to draw it, do not advertise for it. Number three, time management. Be sure you know how to manage your time properly. 
This might seem like a minor detail, but it's important that you don't overwork yourself, but also don't come across as unreliable to your customers for missing deadlines. Tell your customers how much waiting time they can expect until you'll be able to finish the artwork. If they want something finished at a certain time, for example, they want you to draw a birthday present, make sure it fits in your schedule. If an artwork will take you, for example, eight hours to draw, you need to also consider the time you need to take breaks, or maybe you have appointments or other real life responsibilities. Don't give yourself a too tight schedule, as it will make you look bad to your customers if you can't uphold your promises. This is one thing I'm still trying to get better at myself and it's not always easy, but just make sure that you don't make false promises and don't risk your health over a deadline. Number four, commission slots. This kind of ties into the whole time management point. If you have a hard time to uphold a consistent work schedule, try to open for commission slots. Slots can be used to keep you busy without overwhelming you. Tell your followers that you have, for example, five commission slots open, meaning you have time to work on five individual commissions. Obviously only open up for as many as you can manage at the given time and reopen them as soon as you finished your last batch of commissions. Number five, advertise to the right people. Nobody's going to buy from you if no one knows you exist. So make sure to present your work as much as possible on social media. You can link to your commissions in your bio or maybe in your artwork description. This will give people who already are interested in your work the opportunity to check out your commission information. You can also try to post on forums or actively look for people who are searching for commission artists. If you do so, make sure to advertise to the right people. Because maybe you shouldn't post your commission information on a furry website if you're not willing to draw furry. Don't waste your or other people's time. Number six, get paid up front. Make sure that you're getting paid up front or at least partially up front before you start working on a drawing. There are people out there who can and will try to scam you and you need to be aware of this don't invest time in something you won't be paid for. I for a long time didn't like to be paid up front because it stressed me and put me under so much pressure that I couldn't finish some commissions and needed to give the money back to people. I felt so bad about getting paid for work that I hadn't done yet that in the end I couldn't do it at all. Instead I got paid partially up front, 50% before I started working and 50 after I was done. I made sure to only send low resolution watermarked artworks to the commissioner and first after the last payment I sent them a high resolution no watermark version or shipped them their artwork via mail. Don't ever give out a finished artwork to someone who hasn't paid you. Please don't do it. Number seven, be professional. I personally think this is one of the most important ones. If there's one thing you need to understand is the moment you start taking money for your work, you're not a hobby artist anymore. You shouldn't treat people who you don't personally know, who are in a business relationship with you, who want to buy your art like they are your friends. There's probably people who don't have a problem with that, but if there's one thing I, for example, get turned off by is when I'm a customer and people try to befriend me while I'm talking about business. I have commissioned someone before and they just kept asking me, what are you doing this weekend? Or, oh, you like these games? I like them too. Should we play sometimes together? Honestly, girl, I don't want to be your friend. I want to buy art from you. Can you please back up? If I am the customer, this is such a huge turnoff for me that I will actually never consider buying art from this person again. Now, as I said before, it can be that you get around to meeting people who are totally cool with this, but there will also be people who don't want their time wasted and who just want to buy a product from you. Don't take it personally. They just like your art. They don't necessarily want to be your friends. Number eight, be able to say no. And I see this one a lot with younger artists who don't have much experience with commissions yet. They get talked into doing things for, for example, cheaper or draw something that they don't want to draw for someone just because somebody begged them to. You made some commission guidelines and stand by them. 
If somebody wants to get drawn a male character, but you only draw shibi female characters, just say no. And if the person doesn't want to buy from you, then that is good for you. I know you're gonna be sad because you're missing out on some money and the opportunity to have a new customer, but nobody will in the end get anything positive out of it. You will be stressed and uncomfortable with drawing something you don't like. And the customer will most likely be upset that he didn't get as good of a product as you could have provided when you would have drawn something that you are actually comfortable with. Make sure to say no and stand your ground. There will always be someone else who appreciates your art for exactly what it is and will pay the price the way it is. Don't sell yourself short and don't get pushed around. Number nine, don't get upset with your clients. The last three points kind of tie into the whole being professional thing. You should talk to your customers in a certain way. You should know how to say no, of course, but you should not start arguing with your customer. If somebody wants you to draw something and you agree to that, you can't just back out and be like, like oh, I don't feel like it anymore. Don't be unprofessional. Don't upset anyone over nothing. If your commissioner wants something changed in their art and you agree to doing that, don't ask them why. It's not your place. In the end of the day, a commissioned artist is mainly made of repetition. If you do a good job with a commission, somebody is gonna recommend you. If you do a bad job or you upset your commissioner, you're not gonna get recommended. And that is gonna end in you not making money. Number 10, don't give up. In the end of the day, this is a matter of time and a lot of people get way too impatient, way too quick. Don't sell yourself short, stand your ground, Make sure to put some time into advertising properly for yourself, update your social medias, learn to speak professionally to other people, and you will make it. I hope this video helps some of you, and I hope for those people who are trying to get into um, commissions that you are gonna have success. I would love to hear some stories if somebody wants to post it in the comments uh, about how you started commissions or what you wanna do if you start commissions. And I hope I see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can quickly uh, see the finished artwork here. I hope you guys like this video and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.